All right, let's check out this house. I know you're gonna love it. Let's go. So, do you know the square footage of the home? Uh, we're on a lake. Do you know what the flood zone is? Does this lake flood? Uh, so, how old's the roof? How old's the AC unit? How long did those last for? Is the house built with wood? Or wood's bad for hurricanes in Florida. Uh, So what do you know? Moving to Sarasota does not need to be this confusing or stressful. What's up everybody? My name is Zach Payne and I'm a local real estate agent here in Sarasota. And today I wanna to give you my 10 step guide on how to move to Sarasota stress-free. So assuming you've already decided on Sarasota, which if you're still on the fence or not, I recommend watching the video up top where I go over the top three things to consider before moving here. Now. Let's get back to the office and talk about step one. So coming in at number one is getting approved for a mortgage or obtaining a pre-approval letter. Although real estate agents like myself don't need to know how much you're approved for, and really it's none of our business, it allows you, the buyer, to set a realistic expectation and range for your budget. If the mortgage company comes back and says you're approved for up to, let's say a million dollars, but you only wanna spend 500,000 of that, all that I need to know is you're looking to spend $500,000. Okay, so who do I call to get approved and what do I say? Well, most large name banking companies have a loan department already set up and because you probably have an established relationship with them, they may be able to give you a better deal. Now, take that offer from your bank and compare it to a large company like Rocket Mortgage, for example. Rocket Mortgage is actually surprisingly good and because they're a national company, they go through a lot of volume, allowing them to give some of the most competitive offers out there. Okay, I got the pre-approval letter. Can I go look at houses now? No, nope, not yet. You still got a few more steps before you can get out there. Oh. What now? Okay, step two is sitting down and really thinking about your wants versus your needs. I deal with this with clients a lot and it's not necessarily a bad thing. I just have to have this conversation with them. And usually it's better if they can come to me already knowing. You know, maybe you need a three bedroom plus a den. Maybe you want a kitchen with white cabinets. Do you really need to be five minutes to the beach or would you be okay with a 15 to 20 minute drive? In this market in Sarasota, most agents don't even waste their time with any point other than what's your price range because that dictates the rest. Inventory in Sarasota is still so tight, it's really tough to pick and choose without getting north of one to one and a half million dollars. That's not saying you can't find the right home for you, but it's important to go into the process knowing that you might have to be okay compromising on certain things. Okay, I got pre-approved. I know I need a two bedroom, two bathroom house and I want a house with a pool. Can I go look at houses now? Not quite yet. So step number three is to contact a real estate agent and not just any agent, this one right here. In all seriousness though, you need an agent to be knowledgeable about the area, be able to answer questions and concerns that you might have and be able to actually listen to your budget and help show you the right house for you. All right, step four. With the help of your agent, it's now time to narrow down the part of town. Your agent will use your budget that you figured out through step one and your wants and your needs, which you've got from step two and recommend part of town they believe will best fit your lifestyle. Here's an example for you. I had a family of five three kids and two adults contacted me a couple months ago looking for a home. Their budget was up to 950K. They knew they needed at least three bedrooms, preferably four, so everybody could have their own room. Plus, they wanted to be in a good school district in a family-friendly neighborhood. As I was on the phone with them and hearing their criteria, in my head, I'm immediately thinking Palmer Ranch. If you're not aware of Palmer Ranch, it has many homes definitely within that 950,000 budget, as well as larger four-bedroom homes. Palmer Ranch is also known for its very family-oriented environment, with most neighborhoods, including community pools, playgrounds, and outdoor amenities. Not only that, but most of the homes in Palmer Ranch and the one I eventually helped sell to them are all in a top A-rated school district here in Sarasota. So because these clients were able to clearly define their price range, wants and needs, and desired lifestyle, I was able to quickly help them narrow down their property search to the perfect part of town for them. It's not always easy, and sometimes it takes exploring a few different areas and seeing for yourself, and that's okay too. Wow, that was a really beautiful story. Can we go look at houses now? Yes, step five is to go look at houses, but within your budget. Wow. I want it, I love it, I need it. Now here's where strategy and the right real estate agent comes into play. Step six is working with your agent to create a strong offer package to make it hard for the sellers to pass up. A good real estate agent will never push you into a sale or tell you how to spend your money. At the end of the day, whatever you decide to offer, I will write up into a contract. I'm not a licensed financial advisor, nor is any other real estate agent. I prefer to take a logical approach and advise people based on the specific situation. My client really likes a house 
and we know it's had other showings, I advise them to make the most attractive offer they can. If that means going 10,000 over asking price, okay. If that means 20,000, well, I'll write that up too. Congratulations, the sellers approved your offer. That's amazing, when do we move in? Well, we still have three more steps. Now, step seven. Now the real work comes in. In most standard Florida real estate contracts, the due diligence period defaults to 15 days, with the day of closing being 30 to 45 days after going into contract. In this 15 day period, you now need to find and schedule a home inspector to check out the property to make sure everything is in working order and structurally safe. But I just moved here. I don't know any good home inspectors. Well, don't worry. I have a list of people my clients have been personally working with who are extremely thorough, including a home inspector I have known since I was six years old. If you're interested in this list of trades contacts to use for yourself, shoot me an email. If the inspector finds something wrong, for example, an electrical socket is not working, then he may wanna call in an electrician which can take more time. And when the clock's already ticking, you don't wanna waste time trying to find a good electrician to get out while also working out around his schedule. Also, depending on where you're moving, you may be required to submit an application to the homeowners association for approval. Now, usually this is just a formality, but in some instances, I've seen it be a legitimate background check and interview. Okay, I got the home inspection and everything came back clear. And the sellers fixed some minor things with the house that the home inspector pointed out. And I was approved by the HOA. Now what? That brings us to step nine, patience. At this point, everything that could be done has been done. And it's just a waiting game of usually two to three weeks before everything on the back end to be completed. But after the sellers move out, you have the ability to do what's called a pre-close walkthrough, which I encourage all my clients to do. And essentially it's just walking around the home very quickly, checking to make sure the movers didn't ding or make any holes and dents in the walls. Then you just sign a massive packet of papers at the closing table and the closing agent will hand you your keys. Which brings us to step 10. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the Sarasota lifestyle. Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh... Stop.